If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Little House on the Road subscribers and followers. Well, uh, there's a lady that uh, has commented on every video I have made. Since she became a follower or subscriber uh, she comments every day faithfully just the sweetest lady and uh, one day she came and said you know I finally have a question oh that's great that's what I'm here for she asked what kind of tools do, do I recommend taking with you on your RV adventure and so um, I've given this a lot of thought I mean I do have a set of tools uh, that, that I use uh, it's not everything I wish I could have but you know of course you got to limit the amount you can take and this question came up when uh, I, I made a comment that I wish I or needed a drill and a grinder to fix my uh, my camper um, in the footage you see here I, I broke the jack stand on the or the jack trailer jack so uh, you know I, I'm gonna need a grinder and a drill to fix it so I'm gonna wait until I get back to my mother's house and I'll use the grinder and drill there but uh, in the meantime she wanted to know if there's other kind of tools that, that I use and there is so I'm going to take you on a little tour of my toolbox and I hope that it inspires you to figure out what kind of tools you need so uh, here we go I'm going to start out with what my toolbox looks like and yes it is it's a cooler and there's two reasons I brought a cooler one it has well actually there's I guess there's several reasons I brought a cooler. One it's easy to, to move around. I can throw it in the back of the truck, I can throw it in the camper, I uh, can throw it underneath the trailer, all kinds of stuff. And it holds more than just tools. I can put other things in it. Um, but more importantly, it's also multifunctional. And when you're living in a camper, at least a pop-up, you gotta have multi-purpose things. And in this case, if my refrigerator ever goes out, I can quickly go get some ice, dump the tools out of this temporarily, and put the ice in the cooler. And now I have my temporary refrigerator until I can figure out what to do about my refrigerator. So this is a multifunctional uh, device. And so now I'm going to come over here to this side right here. Do the best I can to hold things steady. And obviously, the first thing you're going to want to look at is screwdrivers. And I bought two sets, and then whatever I had left, you know, just kind of hanging around the house before I bought the two sets. But I bought the Craftsman uh, flatheads, which I guess Craftsman does it in red. And then I bought the Craftsman Phillips screwdrivers and these all came in a set like that this one I think I just had lying around so it's a duplicate and then I had these two cheap uh, screwdrivers then the thing is is I've used most of these screwdrivers in the three months that we've been uh, living in our camper now I brought these here and those are just handy they're not really I use them for you know to fix things or anything but they do come in really handy to temporarily hang a rope uh, as a clothesline uh, you know just attach something real quick comes in kind of handy once you have your screwdrivers then of course you got to have a set of pliers and just a different assortment of pliers I have and again, I've used all of those. Um, somewhere, I guess I didn't bring it out, I also have a pair of wire cutters. Now, to limit the amount of box wrenches that I brought with me, I brought all kinds of crescent wrenches. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you just can't use crescent wrenches for everything. And that's true. I understand that. But unfortunately, when you're limited on space, you know, you try to figure out how, what you can use that will be multifunctional. And crescent wrenches are very multifunctional. 
which does limit the amount of box wrenches I need. In every toolbox, there should be a Canon WD-40, which if you watch me flip my axle, you'll see that I used a ton of it. I'll put it. I'll put that video up here on the up here on the top left-hand corner of this video. And duct tape. And as I always say, duct tape duct tape fixes the world. I have a jack. Now I know a lot of people say, why don't you use a bottle jack on your camper? Well, I agree, but again, multifunctional purpose. Um, this is good. I can use it on the camper, but I can also use it on the truck if I need to. While we're talking about changing tires, something I learned a long time ago working on the road. I used to travel all the time. You ever have a flat tire? It would be handy to be able to fix your tire on the road. That way, you know, if it's late and there's no place open, you can change your spare, which is usually a donut. You can fix it with one of these strips, plugs, it's called a plug. This, you size the hole, and then finally you just put that plug into that tool there and you shove it right into the hole of the tire. Now I'm not going to give you any instructions on how to do that if you want to learn how. I'm sure there's YouTube videos out there that will show you how to do that. While we're talking about changing tires, you should get a four-way lug nut um, wrench. Believe it or not, my trailer has two different size lug nuts on each tire. And I assume that's to deter theft. You know, they can bring a wrench, take three of the lug nuts off, but <laughs> one would still be on there. I, uh, I, I put this out because my generator requires those two items. So I, you know, got to have a funnel to change the oil. And this is the spark plug wrench. Here I have kind of my miscellaneous items. Hammer. The hammer is probably used more than any other tool in the toolbox. To drive stakes into the ground, to you know just tap things around. I mean I've never actually used it to drive a nail in anything, but I use it for everything else. Zip ties. I use zip ties for everything. So I always have two packages of zip ties. Now I'm not suggesting everybody carry one of these testers around uh, if, if you don't understand electricity it may be best to just get, get a handyman to help you with that but this I can test my my voltage excuse me I can test to make sure I have a current going to a trailer light um, you know if trailer light isn't working I can see I can start to identify why it's not working on the same token if I need to fix some wire I got wire that I keep around just to be able to fix things and if you're going to fix the wire you need a pair of wire strippers cutters so i have that this i found i needed and it's not a multi-purpose tool and i really hate having to carry it around but i really did find out i needed it the very first time i took the trailer out my the ball on my truck became loose and so i check it every time I take the trailer off and make sure that ball is tight so that's just something I have to carry around a really handy silicone it's uh, it's flexible and it sticks to wet surfaces this is really good stuff um, instantly waterproof cured seal is mildew resistant paintable if I get a hole in my canvas a small hole well even a large hole I can uh, patch it up with this and we've actually uh, not only patched a hole, but then we painted it so it flawlessly looks the same color. And finally, uh, I got this 95 piece tool set and it's Craftsman. I just like Craftsman, I've always have. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be people out there, no snap on, whatever, it doesn't matter, it's just it's tools. So uh, anyway, it's, uh, it has several pieces in it. Well, 95 pieces.
And so basically it's a socket set. It's, it's kind of handy because it's got, you know, your most common open-end box wrenches. Open-end wrenches, sorry. So it's got a half inch, nine sixteenths, three eighths, and seven sixteenths. It's got all your uh, sockets that you probably need for, it's got two different size uh, ratchets. It's got your smaller ratchet and then the medium size ratchet. You can also get a half inch ratchet, but you're ne in this camper, you're never gonna need anything that big. So quarter inch is good for these smaller um, sockets. Bigger ones for this uh, size socket. And this works well for everything. The only thing I hate about it is they keep falling out of them. Now it also has metric, so you can see that. Not sure. There's a, t let's see. There's 12, I guess. Let's see, 11, 12, 10. And there's a 6, 7, 8. And then it's got a few deep well sockets, not a lot. It's actually kind of disappointing because I could use more deep well sockets. And then it has these little uh, screwdriver um, sockets. So you can use this screwdriver here. And so that concludes our, uh, the tour of my toolbox. So I hope that inspires people to uh, determine what you're going to need when you're uh, living in a camper lifestyle. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video. And happy travels.